My name's Connie and this is Diane and we're here today at the Olympic Club watching one of the practice rounds of the U.S. Open. Thanks for being with us today. Hi Connie. So what was the most exciting thing you've done today? Well, I arrived here around 6 a.m. I was volunteering one of the concession stands on behalf of the first tee. And being there at the concession stands was, was very unusual. Good people watching. I met J Jack LaLanne's great exciting. nephew. And uh, oh yeah, we saw the bomb squad. They're here protecting us. So there was no bomb uh, threat at all? Not that I'm aware of, thank <laughs> goodness. And That's Diane, good. what about you? Did you do any shopping? Not yet, but I heard the merchandise store is unbelievable. Have, we are on our way there, and we ran into all these people that have already shopped. They have these big bags, and they're saying, be ready. I, I've been there. I was there on Sunday. It's great. you got to go. We're on our way. <laughs> and uh, one more thing. We're here because of the STEM Zone on behalf of Chevron. It's great. My son is over there learning all about uh, angle, speed, velocity, all the science behind golf. Thanks again for being here. This is the 112th uh, US Open, and it's been really exciting here on the golf course at the Olympic Club. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Good job. <laughs> See, I knew you could do it. Most people see a ball blasting out of a bunker. I see scatter theories. I see volcanic basalt, thermal maturation, and evaporates. I see basin modeling and geodestiny. And the cool thing is, I see all of this because of a ball blasting out of a bunker. Partnering with the USGA at the US Open is one way we help educate kids in science, technology, engineering, and math.